Hi loves, and welcome back to my channel. It's Dr. Jack of all trades, and this is Vlogmas 2020. While you're here, be sure and subscribe, leave me a comment, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. Hi friends, good morning. It is Vlogmas Day 14. Woo, we've made it to the end of the second week of Vlogmas, and honey, it is wash day around these parts. What are y'all doing today? I hope you had a great weekend. I hope your day is starting off well. I am starting off getting some of this laundry done that has been kind of piling up for a couple of days. Baby, being a YouTuber, honey, it takes up some of your time. So I've got to get all these things washed, folded, and put away. And so that is what I'm doing right here, girls and guys. Trying to wash and fold. And look at those lonely two socks right there. Where are the mates? I thought for sure that the sock bandit left when my kids left home. But I guess not. So, uh, yeah. What I'm doing is just folding up some stuff and putting it away. Just kind of getting some little projects done on this beautiful Vlogmas Day 14. Y'all remember I told you that my daughter said ironing was overrated. <laughs> well, look. This ironing came in handy today. I'm ironing some... Um, napkins for me to fix my little place setting. I think it turned out pretty cute. I'm just uh, fixing some little things. And see, I think it turned out really nicely. It matches what I have on my uh, console cabinet. So yeah, time for lunch. And so now it's time for a little lunch. It is 1.52 in the afternoon. I haven't had a bite to eat all day because I've been so busy. So what I'm going to do is, I know you see that bread, I'm going to make me a little, just a little grilled cheese sandwich. I would have had some tomato soup, but I don't have any. So I guess it'll just be a grilled cheese sandwich um, for now. So I'm going to use some sliced brioche that I picked up from Walmart. This is sinfully good. That bread is sinfully good so I try not to eat too much of it but um, I haven't had bread in about a week so I'm going to make me a sandwich so I'm just gonna make a real quick grilled cheese sandwich I know uh, everybody knows how to make one so this is my little version I'm gonna take some bread butter cheese and red pepper flakes so I just melt my butter in the microwave and then I'm just gonna brush a little bit on one slice Add some cheese, pepper flakes, and a little mozzarella for the stretch. And um, just uh, scrape all that cheese, turn my fire on, put all that cheese underneath the um, bottom there and let it melt. Flip it over a couple of times and um, just let it do its thing and it'll be done in a few minutes. And I'm just gonna have that, uh, put it in my plate and cut it and look at the stretch mm. and hubs is out there giving the old car a good wash i'm so thankful for that i'm looking out of my window <laughs> at him out there washing it's a little chilly out there but um i think he's good and warm and i'm so thankful that he's giving my baby a nice hand wash oh so precious quick little ootd for this um very, very cold day. I'm about to do a quick little run because you know, honey, as my husband says, when I get a bug up my butt about something I want to do. But yeah, I want to um, add to what I have out on the front. So yeah, this is uh, my little OOTD. Warm, warm. I got on some um, leggings and my sweatshirt. This is my one of my old, um, one of the very first sweatshirts that I got when I... Um, uh, when I first pledged, it is, um, probably about 27 or 20, yeah, about 27 years old. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I can still fit it, but granted, it was way oversized when I got it 27 years ago. It was super oversized. But anyway, yep. Yeah, so, uh, we're gonna make a little, little store run, guys. Uh, I'll let you see what I come up with when I get back. Peace. It just doesn't look like how I had it positioned. Because I had a position where I wouldn't have to try to blur out so much. Because, um, girl, 
I'm still learning how to use this software. And I don't know how to make the blur. Um, well, I'm, I do know how. I just haven't perfected getting the blur to move. You know, I have to go through. You have to advance each frame just a little bit and move the blur. As the, you know, it, it's a meticulous little activity. YouTubers know what I'm talking about. Now, if there's a, a better way of blurring, easier way of doing a blur, please let me know. Because, uh, girl, whoo cha. All right. y'all doing? Y'all, it is cold out here. Yeah. About 40 degrees this evening, this afternoon, or whatever. And it is chilly. But we setting the tone this week. We're going to have a good week. We're going to um, uh, be prosperous and positive and celebrate our uniqueness, all those good things. You know, do something um, to kinda, if you have like me. So I've um, dealt with, you know, seasonal depression, anxiety, all of that. I, it was really bad in my 20s. I've, got, I've learned as I've gotten older some tools and tips to uh, kinda help me with that. But on a day like this, when it's gloomy and cloudy, and all of that, it can really affect your mood. So you got a really purpose in your your mind and in your being that you're going to be uplifted. Um, and some things that you can do are, even though it's cloudy, come on outside and get you some of this natural light. Um, you can even buy you some. Um, the there there's even a treatment light therapy that you can do, but you can just buy you some daylight light bulbs and just you know kind of make sure it's bright kind of uplift your spirits and let your body naturally reduce um you know those uh those those hormones that make you feel good serotonin and all that kind of stuff um work out that's another good thing to do it will um release uh, endorphins help you to you know feel better so get you a good workout in a good cardio workout hop on a treadmill put on your favorite music honey and just escape like my sister says she would get on that treadmill and she would just go to her happy place do it you don't have to run you can just you know walk briskly whatever so get you some exercise in and take in good food not stuff that's gonna weigh you down and make you feel you know all um you know sluggish and everything Get you some good, some soup, um, some good steamed vegetables, something that's gonna make you, um, that's gonna uplift you. Um, yeah, so those are some things you can do to combat the winter blues, as they call them, or the, the um, you know, the, the seasonal depression that you can get when it's a cloudy, dreary day, like, like today. And, you know, it's the holidays, and sometimes they aren't the best. You know, my mom, Oh, God, love her. God rest her. So she passed away one week before Christmas, exactly one week before Christmas on December 18th, 2004. And that is like right around the corner. And um, if we aren't careful, we can slip into a state of depression. So it's something that you have to actively do. It is an action that you have to take to combat um, seasonal depression and all of those things. So just wanted to give you that little tidbit. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful uh, afternoon or whatever. I'm getting out and I'm going to do something. Um, you know, I like to piddle around the house, as my, my mom would say. <laughs> I like to piddle around and do little stuff and um, change uh, up and decorate and do all those things. And so I'm going to do that. And I am going to go visit my sister's one day this week, I'm going to get out and I'm going to um, go visit them. Um, we have all talked about it. We are all safe. We don't have that thing. And so we are going to um, spend a little time together because I miss them. I miss my girls. So you guys do that too. And even if you can't see your your 
the people that you miss. Hey, Zoom, FaceTime, Microsoft Teams. It's so many different platforms out there. Get on there and, and chat with them. All right, guys. See you in a little while. So the gimbal that my hubby got me, that husband got me, is supposed to stabilize all of that. And it, you won't have all of this, you know, you know, uh, movement and everything. So I'm anxious to, to see how that works and uh, see um, what it does for me. <laughs> it's the peddler's dream. Dollar Tree! <laughs> looking like a bumblebee <laughs> hey but hey this is what you do girls and guys looking for my uh, my stuff because <laughs> you know try not to touch my face until or touch my mask until i get my hand sanitizer on i thought i had some wipes in here i do Ooh, child, but i found what i needed uh well no i didn't i found the wrapping paper that I wanted um, but I did not find the bows my daughter said they had the same bows that I got from Walmart in the Dollar Tree and I did not see them in there so I guess it's off to Walmart luckily it's right next door well not right next door but right across the street Whew, okay y'all make it but I really wanted the one the pre-made ones that I got previous previously but I guess I'll make it I guess so yeah I'm back and uh they didn't have I guess those were pretty popular when so they had all those other bows there but they didn't have any of the plaid like I got before so I guess like I said those were pretty popular Everybody wanted those, I guess. And so, hmm. I was out of luck. But we're going to make it work with what I got. Because, um, hey, that's what I do. I'm Dr. Jack of all trades. The queen of improvisation, improvising, um, making things work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, let's go home. 
And also, it's okay to, you know, miss people. <laughs> we miss them because we love them. They meant so much to us. But what we don't want to do is continue to grieve the loss. We want to move through the stages of grief. So, um, you know, miss them. It's okay. Think about the wonderful times that you all had. That's what I do. Sometimes I think about something funny my mom said. I had a friend of mine. She called him. My mom's name was Iva. Iva Lee. And uh, my friend said, oh, your mom with all those Iva-isms. <laughs> She used to say some of the funniest little things. And so I think about those things. I think about the wonderful things. I think about how blessed I was to have my mom with me for 34 years. I was blessed. And so um, that's what I do. I try to think about those things, not the negative, so that I will not continue to grieve. I have to pass through that the, the entire grieving process to get to that stage where I have accepted it and I can just, you know, go on with life and take everything that she taught me and incorporate that into my day-to-day -day living. And that's how I honor her memory and um, continue that love that's, oh, so strong in my heart. Yeah, that's what we do. Oh, this is one of my favorite Iva-isms. Um, like my mom, she sold. She was truly the original jack of all trades. She trades. She did everything. She was a chef. She was a homemaker. She was a seamstress, uh, <laughs> a, an attorney. I mean, she was everything. She did everything. But anyway, like she would make, made me a dress, um, like a, a ball gown or something, a formal gown. And it was fitted. It, it, I mean, it fit every curve. And she said, baby, it looked like you were melted and poured in that dress. <laughs> Baby, you know, when you are melted and poured in something, you, I mean, it fits you every curve perfectly. And that was my mama, honey. She could make you look like you was melted and poured in your dress, honey. <laughs> yeah, that was the name of um, my boutique. I, I, and I still have my boutique, it's online. Um, where I sell formal dresses and the name of it is Iva's Daughter Boutique. Yeah, so um, Yeah, Iva isms. I keep them with me <laughs> Okay, show you a quick little um, haul of what I got from um, Walmart and Dollar Tree. I got some wrapping paper because I'm going to um, I'm do I'm adding some things some elements uh, to my front door area and hush Dylan. Hey, hey, hey I'm adding some things to my front door um, area, and what I'm gonna do is I have some boxes that I'm gonna wrap and make look like presents to sit out by those little trees out there. All right, and I got two of those. I probably won't need all of that. I also bought these little um, Christmas Santa hats in this buffalo plaid just because they were cute and I like the brown um, little fluffy thing. You know, a dollar, we'll wear those on Christmas. And I got some tape. Well, I probably should have gotten something to uh, hold my phone up. <laughs> but I got I got some tape, of course. And from Walmart, I was looking for those same bowls that I had, uh, uh, that I put on my um, planners out front, the, um, the pre-made bowls. They didn't have any more of that, and they didn't have very much ribbon. But I was able to um, snag one of these. So I'm gonna put that out and I bought, cause if you remember, I told you I had um, those three bags that I got in an after Christmas sale and I have three grandchildren. So I was gonna use them to put their Christmas gifts in. Well, I took one of the bags <laughs> because I wanted to put it outside too, cause it was cute and everything. Um, so I'm, I bought another one to replace that one that I'm going to use. And that's that. Oh, and I had these command hooks because I wanna, hang some garland um, over the top of the door. So there you go. So I'm gonna make a bow out of this and um, I got some things out there that I wanna do. So let's see how I do it.
And that's done. I have another box like this that I'm going to um, put some paper on and that's gonna be it for this part of the project. I may um, check out there in my garage and see if I have some leftover bowls from last year that I can put on here to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit. But yeah, that's it. It's easy peasy. Just grab you an old uh, box of some sort. Like I said, this is some old lights that I'm not using, hadn't used in a, in a while. They've just been sitting out there <laughs> in my, um, well, actually they've been upstairs in the attic. So um, yeah, make use of it. All right. So I'm just outside now stuffing one of those bags that I told you I had. And now I'm going to um, try to fix up something where I can make it look like gifts are coming out of the bag. And look what I found in these boxes. These are some little boxes from a couple of Christmases ago. And I guess I must have put these little uh, uh, battery operated candles in there. So um, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> take those out of the boxes. I don't need those in there. And so I'm gonna try to, you know, glue these together and make it look like a stack of presents that are falling or spilling over out of that bag that's out there um, in front of the door. So, yeah. So I found this little piece of gold ribbon um, that I'm going to use across the present. I have more gold ribbon somewhere. I just can't find it, but I'm going to glue this on and hopefully no one from the street will be able to see it. Well, see it from the street that it's only um, a little bit of ribbon on here. It doesn't go all the way around the package. Uh, I'll find that ribbon. It's somewhere. Anyway, I found this old uh, ornament that was in a throwaway box, some things that I, would gonna, that I was uh, gonna get rid of. And so I'm gonna glue that on because it's gonna make it look really cute and festive. Um, so I'll just glue that on. I think it's gonna look really good. turned out just fine just like that and as you can see from this angle you can't tell that I don't have ribbon all the way around but from that angle you can so that won't be shown so I'm gonna glue these boxes together some kind of way to kind of you know make them where they they will um, stand in the corner and look real cute and festive on the um, near the door Voila, there you have it. Next, I'm going to take this ribbon and I'm gonna make a bow. So I'm gonna to try to show you how I make my bow. It's, it's real simple. Um, you know, a bow is composed of bunny ears and two tails. <laughs> That's the way I think about it. If you think about tying your shoes, as a kid, you taught, you learned how to tie and make bunny ears. So that's what my bow is uh, gonna be composed of, bunny ears and the two tails. So what I do is I fold the ribbon about four times so that I can make bunny ears and I wanna have two um, on each side. So I guess two little ears on each side. So uh, I'll fold it four times, not too long. And uh, then I'll cut that piece off and I'm gonna um, just gather it in the middle and I'm gonna take some of my floral wire. 
You can get it from Walmart or any uh, type of floral or craft store. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and just wrap it around the middle just so that um, that those gathers that I made will stay in place. So I'll just take that, clip the wire, and uh, just wrap it around. And then once that's done, I'm gonna take some more ribbon and I'm going to uh, measure off how much I think I'll need to make the two little tails for the, the bunny ears. <laughs> And um, then I'm going to cut that off as well. And then I'll take that and just tie it around the middle to hide that wire. And that's going to be the bow in a nutshell. Very simple. So once you've got it tied um, as tight as you want it, then you want to open up those bunny ears, <laughs> the two at the top, and kind of just fluff them out a little bit. And you do that on each side. Just like that. Okay, so now to finish off the bow, what I'm gonna do is uh, clip the ends a little bit because I think that those are a little too long. So I'm gonna clip those off first. And then I like to have the little V uh, shape on the end of my bows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold the end in half. And on the end where the fold is, I'm gonna start cutting there in a diagonal down to the other end or the other side of that fold. And so you just clip that down, starting on the side that you folded. You're gonna cut on the fold in a diagonal and it's gonna make that little V shape there, which I like to have. It's kind of like a little finishing touch on your uh, bows. So yeah. And then after I'm done, I'm just gonna kind of scrunch up the ribbon. These, this is a wired ribbon, which is the kind that I like to work with the most because you can, you know, form it into whatever shape you want it to be in. And so I'm just gonna kind of bunch up the uh, ends here to make it, um, you know, look really cute. And that is my bow. And uh, as you can see, I did this pretty much in real time. It, it, the video isn't sped up. So you can see it didn't take me but a minute to do that. And that's that. Okay, so I'm back outside now trying to uh, stuff this in there. I found these paper shreds from uh, in my closet, in my craft closet, and I've had them for years. Got them at the dollar store. So they were a dollar. So I'm stuffing that, stuffing that in there. And I'm sorry, I thought you guys could see what I was doing, but unfortunately you can't but anyway I'm gluing that paper down in there so it doesn't blow all over the place and I'm gonna position those boxes on top of that um, so it'll look like that the little shreds and the boxes are just kind of spilling over out of the bag I think it's gonna look really really cute and then on the other side I found this old crate that I was gonna throw away it's kind of damaged and some nails are sticking out but I'm gonna uh, put that bowl on there and I wrapped a topiary ball in some lights and stuck it in there and voila that's done I'm gonna position those presents some kind of way up there like that this is my final product I um, for some reason uh, wasn't videoing when I put the garland up across the top of my door sorry about that but basically I just used my command hooks and um, stuck it up there like that but anyway this is what I did to the bag I thought it turned out cute put the little gifts in there to make it look like they're spilling out 
and I used that old paper shreds that I had, uh, some old stuff I had. Um, so really, to do that didn't cost me anything because I already had everything that's there. And then uh, over here, I got um, some little boxes that I wrapped with some paper from Dollar Tree. And I didn't even use a whole roll for both of those boxes. I was gonna try to glue them together, but that didn't work. So it ended up looking better by me just putting one on top of the other. That was, um, probably cost me 75 cents because I didn't even use a whole roll and everything else I had at home. That little piece of ribbon and everything else. I'm gonna have to probably uh, reposition it so that you want see that I don't have ribbon on the side of it, but I'll figure that out in a little bit. I have some more ribbon somewhere, gotta find it. And anyway, I made another bow and put it on this old crate that I had sitting in the garage that I was actually gonna throw away because it's broken on the back and uh, didn't have a use for it. So um, yeah, put that, uh, put my topiary ball in there, uh, wrap some lights on it and boom, boom, boom. And I brought my Merry Christmas sign out from the garage and put it out here. Now, you see all these cords and stuff, but you can't see that from the road. Are they, all you see is the prettiness. So, um, yeah, that is it. That, that is it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing anything else to the, to the front of the uh, house. But I think that turned out really, really cute. So sweet. Mm, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleased. <laughs> Remember I told you that my town was like a Hallmark movie? <laughs> so this is our little downtown area. It is so pretty. It's so pretty when it's all lit up. They didn't do the ice skating rink this year for obvious reasons, but they still did the lights. I mean, we have like little things that you would not even <laughs> think still is existed like little um the actual um drug stores where they actually make up the medicines i can't think of what it's called right now but that type of drug store where they actually mix up the things look at the little um the little shops there's a little bitty theater little place little i mean little <laughs> but hey i i like it it's a, it's a college town, and so, you know, we still have some amenities. So I remembered what the type of pharmacy um, I was talking about. A compound pharmacy. A pharmacy where they actually will mix the compounds to make uh, specialty drugs um, and medications. So that is um, my little town. They even have like a little soda shop. Well, actually, it's a drugstore with a soda shop in it. How cute is that? So, I mean, it's really, like, the cutest little place. And they have some of the sweetest little boutiques. Children's boutiques. Just um, ladies' boutiques. Just all kinds of sweet little places. I love it. But, honey, I like the big so we often um, will, you know, like I said, take a long weekend to the city, shoot over to um, one of the larger cities. <laughs> been a good day. I hope you had a good uh, Vlogmas day 14. Um, I look forward to spending another day with you tomorrow. Um, come back and see what my Vlogmas adventures will entail. <laughs> but before you go, please, if you haven't already, I would love it if you'd subscribe, like this video, leave me a comment, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload something new. Thank you all so much for all of your kind comments and your feedback. I appreciate it. I look forward to spending another day with you tomorrow. You all have a wonderful evening, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.